Hello, this is Aaron Alsop from cinemaspice.net and today I would like to show you how to create customizable film burns like these using only light leaks. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do in order to create this effect is to create a new sequence and bring in our clips. So, we have our new sequence and whenever we create a new sequence we're going to need to get footage and I always like to go into my trusty llama bin footage with just a bunch of footage from of llamas. So I've got this shot here. The llama kind of walks in and as you see, as it gets going, uh, the camera operator kind of gets it in focus because the llama is getting up close. But I want to kind of cut from, we'll say, here. And then I'm going to kind of see where we want to cut into. Llama comes in. And we'll just say right there. So the great thing about film burns or these light leaks is that um, you can use them as a way to kind of put a transition between these two shots. As you saw there, that was not a very smooth transition. It just was pretty abrupt. Um, but, you know, this is still the same shot. It's still the same location. And these film burns will be able to create kind of a more interesting way of making that transition. So right here I have light leaks and this is from the Cinema Spice Grunge Light Kit. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, kits that we've got there uh, just because it's this you know, really grungy look. Now when you put it on top of your footage here and you apply the screen opacity, you'll see that it goes on top of it and one of the things you'll notice is right here I'm gonna disable this track beneath it what is white and you know is going to stay and it screens out any of the black sections of the clip anything that's in between black and white is kind of uh, transparency so if it's 50% gray it's gonna be 50% transparent and as you can see here uh, this white that is 100% white is still remaining. So in order to create this film burn effect, what you're going to have to do is make sure that in the middle here that it's 100% white and it'll not be screened and it'll, it'll be for a brief second. So how do we do that? Well, one of the first things that I like to do is find a place in the clip here where it's pretty bright and we'll kind of go forward here and we'll say we'll say about here you know and what we'll do is I'll kind of put a cut that out and move this clip over now what I did there is I know that right here is it's pretty bright it's almost hundred percent white and at that point it will be screened over and you won't be able to see anything. However, you know, you still see that there are some llamas there. And we want to get rid of the llamas just for this split second. So what we have to do is add an apply an RGB curves to this clip and bring up the luma here until we can't see the llama anymore or whatever your clip is. And you'll see as this goes, it's screened on kind of there it's you know kind of covering that llama up and when it's gone we got the llama up close but this is this is kind of boring we we want it to be you know be a, maybe a bit quicker we also want it to be have a, some color to it so that's the next step so first thing that I like to do is I like to speed this up so I'll go to speed and duration I'll change that to 200. Now the problem we have now is it moved over so I'll just move it over and remember we don't want it to we want it to be at a hundred percent white and there it is. Play it back. There we go. Now we want to add some color. Now there's a few things you can do you can go into your RGB curves and you can mess around with the um, the curves here and you'll see that 
it does that, but I want something a little more organic, if you will. I want it to look, uh, you know, a bit neater. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo all of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find Digiflame. Now, Digiflame is a background that we have for sale on Cinema Spice, but I found that it actually makes kind of a cool other um, look to it. So I'm just going to grab this one. It is the Grassy Beach Digiflame. And just like the clip, the light leak below it, I'm going to make it at 200%. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a blur to it. The Digiflame is meant to be kind of a, this really cool background that's a very digital flame look. But the neat thing about it is it has this really cool texture and that flame is something that we can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to use Gaussian Blur, add that to it. And I'm going to bring the Gaussian Blur up and as I bring it up you'll see that it kind of not kind of, it does, it changes it. So now instead of having that digital flame look, it's this these blobs of color. You always want to make sure that when you're doing Gaussian Blur on something like this, you do repeat edge pixels. And so instead of, um, and I'm going to disable this clip here so you can kind of see, you can see clips from the llama, the llama clip right down here. You do repeat edge pixels and it covers that up and it has it. So this is where we get kind of interesting. What we want to do is we want to have these color assets on top of these light leaks. And I'm going to disable these llama, llama so you can kind of see here. So we want what's on there just to be on what's on the light leak. Now, the easiest way to do that is to take the grassy beach digiflame, go over to the opacity and change that to overlay. Now, if we play through that, we'll see that now that is affecting the light leak. So the problem you'll see, though, is we have this overlaid onto this, the light leaks, which is screened onto the llamas. So when we play back, it's not giving the exact look as we're getting. As you can see, it's, it's just looking different. It's not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a nested sequence. Now, if you're familiar with After Effects, a nested sequence is basically a pre-comp. If you're not familiar with After Effects, a nested sequence takes these two clips, combines them into their own sequence or clip that then is acts at one, as one. Now, creating a nest sequence is really easy. Uh, you can either go up here and go to nest or you do the hotkey which is for me command shift t and i'm going to call this film burn and so now this has created its own separate clip or sequence and if i go into here you'll, i'll find the two clips how i left them so what i can do now is i can go to opacity for this change that to screen and we've got that film burn. Now, the cool thing about this is, whenever you make a change to this sequence, it's going to make a change to this clip. So let's say those weren't the colors we, we really wanted to go with. Well, what we can do is we can go into uh, the different digi flames and kind of go through and find kind of a color we like. So we were using the grassy beach. Um, let's try the orange or I mean not the orange, uh, the ocean. So one thing you can do is you can bring it in and if you hit Alt on a Mac, and I believe it's uh, Alt as well on a PC, you'll see this plus sign comes up. And what that's doing is it's telling uh, Premiere that I want this clip to go in place of these clips with all the same attributes. 
So, you know, this Ocean Digi Flame now has the same Gaussian blur, same speed, and it's overlaid. So I look at this, and this is kind of a cool look. It's, you know, got these blues, purples, and magentas. And let's see how that looks with uh, Llama. Okay, so now we got that film burn. Um, and like I said, you know, this is uh, extremely customizable. You know, let's say I wanted uh, this, you know, let's go through, let's go with this red and purple, the plum red. This is, this is pretty cool. Once again, I'll hit Alt Option and that replaces it. There we go. That kind of has a more, you know, red plum look as the name from the Digiflame suggests. So that's how you can easily customize these film burns. I really like using them uh, because, especially for sports videos, not just with llamas, because they can, you know, be a great way to transition between things. You know, such as this llama clip where you want to have the shot of the llama walking and then the llama looking around. But that abrupt cut just, you know, was a little weird. But doing it this way, you can add a little spice to your video. Now, what are, we're going to do is we're going to have this light leak clip available for download along with the, uh, this clip of the Plum Red Digiflame. And then we'll also uh, have this entire clip exported as itself. So if in the future, you know, you just want to have that film burn, you know, you, you, know, you don't want to go through the process of creating them both, you know, we'll have that clip. So we'll have all three clips available for download. You'll find the link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe. We're going to have a bunch more of these videos coming out so that you can learn how to spice up your films.